Adventure Ahead. The National Broadcasting Company presents another in the series of famous stories for the young of all ages. Adventure Ahead. This week, an exciting story of Western Africa, Talking Drums by Waldo Fleming. The story of a young man who dared to go into the jungle and learn the secret of the mysterious and sacred Talking Drums. Adventure Ahead. The Gold Coast of Western Africa, a wilderness of unknown mystery, steeped in jungle lore and native superstition, untamed, uncharted, forgotten by a world at war. Young Philip Baring came back to the Gold Coast after a year in the States, anxious to return to the land he knew as home. Philip! Philip Baring! Hello! Welcome back, Philip! Welcome back! Hello, Commissioner! I didn't expect a reception when I landed. <laughs> well, I have some news for you. Oh? From your father up north. I wanted to see you before you started inland. Yes, sir. Here, uh, we can talk in my office. All right. There. <laughs> Those Ashanti natives can't seem to work or do anything unless they're noisy about it. <laughs> That's right, sir. But it's a good sign they're happy and at peace with the world. Yes. I only wish things were as peaceful up in the north country where you're going, Philip. Well, what do you mean, sir? Has there been any trouble about the railroad? Well, the work's progressing slowly. Much too slowly. You mean we haven't reached Ipuntwe yet? Well, the construction gangs are about ten miles from Ipuntwe now. But ten miles in this jungle is like a hundred miles anywhere else. But what's wrong? The last letter from my father, just a few months ago, said the work was going along okay. Things have changed since then, Philip. Uh, what do you mean, Commissioner? Your father says the native workmen act as if they were under a, uh, a spell of some kind. Oh, that's strange. Yes, and difficult to understand. Frankly, I'm glad you've come back to the Gold Coast, Philip, because you speak a shanty, you get along well with the blacks, understand their customs, habits, religion. That's right, Commissioner. It's just possible, Philip, that you can find out what's wrong up there, that you can succeed where other white men have failed. Well, I'll certainly do my best, Commissioner. It's important, young man. Very important that the railroad be completed all the way to Ipantwe on schedule. We're depending on your father and his workmen to finish the railroad on time. Your name wouldn't be Philip Baring, would it? Yes. Yes, I expect it would. Are you Mr. O'Hara, my father's new foreman? Yes, that I am, but it's, it's just Mike to me, friend. All right, Mike. Well, hop in the car and we'll be getting along. Right, sure. The country look familiar to you? Yes, it sure does. But something about this part of Africa, the Ashanti country, sort of appeals to me. Uh, maybe so, but it doesn't appeal to me. Not with all the trouble we've been having lately. Trouble? What do you mean, Mike? Now, the way the natives have been acting, like they were scared. Afraid to work harder and finish the railroad on time. But, well, why? Why are they like that? Why are they scared? I'll show you why. But I, I don't see why they... Listen. Huh? Listen. Yeah, you hear that? The talking drums. The intempani drums. You hear them all the time nowadays. And the closer our workmen get to Inpunkwe, the noisier the drums get. Seems to be a lot of them scattered around the jungle. They're religious drums. They're sacred. Uh, maybe so, but they're a nuisance. Every time they hear them drums, the natives just stop what they're doing and listen like, like they were scared. And my guess is they're talking about trouble. Trouble for the railroad. The Intempani. The Ashanti talking drums. <laughs> Come back, Philip. Yes, Father, like I wrote, I 
I feel I belong here on the Gold Coast. Well, I'm not so sure, Philip, but since you're back, maybe you can make yourself useful. I don't know. <laughs> well, you're not so glad to see me, are you, sir? Oh, of course I am, Philip, but well, this is no place for you. You belong in a civilized country where you can study your music and live a normal life. There's no place for you. But, sir, the railroad. Uh, before that steel track reaches the Puntway, there'll be trouble, I'm sure of it. But maybe I could help. Well, if you knew something about those drums they use and what they're talking about, maybe you could help me. But as it is, there isn't much for you to do. Naturally, you can stay in the construction camp here, live in my tent, just as we used to live. Utasi will take care of you, as he's always done. He's inside in the tent. I expect you'll be glad to see you. Well, I've got work to do. Yes, sir. Utasi! Utasi! <laughs> My boss, Philip. Hello, <laughs> You come. Yes. My boss, Philip, come back. Yes, and here I am. So glad you come back, boss, Philip. A uh, long time missed you. Well, I've missed you too, Tassie. And the Gold Coast. Things haven't changed much in a year. Well, yes, some things changed since you go away. What do you mean? I, I cannot talk about that with white man. Which doctor is no like? Jumumu, chief, no like. Oh, why? What's wrong with the natives at Tassie? What's bothering them? Why is there trouble? I, I... I cannot tell the white man. I cannot tell. Why not? Well, I... I, I want to tell you, Bas Philip. I want to tell you, Father, because you're so good to Tassi. Let me work for you. But... Uh, I am a shanty. I cannot tell the white man what is wrong. All right, Tassi. Sometime I... I wish you'd talk to me and take me into your confidence like you used to do. Well, I... I you... Listen. I hear... What? Mtumpane. Drums. What is it, Utasi? A message? Yes. Message. From Jumumu. Chief. That's for my people. Tell me, Utasi. What are the drums saying? I cannot tell you. I am a shanty. Message not for white man. I cannot tell you. Hey, Mr. Batty. Mr. Batty. Oh, well, yes, Mike. You hear them drums just now? Of course. Now oh, what's wrong with the natives? Well, our roadbed surveyed to run right through that grove of trees up ahead there. Yeah? And these blacks claim it's a sacred grove, and they won't cut them trees. Who said the trees were sacred? Jumumu, chief of the tribe north of here. He's the one probably sent that drum message. Yeah, always something here lately. Always something to hold up our work. Yes. Mike. Yes. How far is Jumumu's tribe from here? Uh, it's supposed to be five or six miles northeast. Why? I'd like to send you up there, Mike, and talk with the old man. See what's on his mind. All right, Mr. Batting. This drumming and agitating our workmen's got to stop. I have an idea that old Jumumu himself has a hand in the troublemaking. Now, if you could talk to him, maybe you could find out what's wrong, what's bothering him. Yeah. Sounds like a good idea to me, Mr. Baring, but I, I can't speak a shanty. Well, take along a native who knows some English. You can use him as a guide, too. What about your son, Philip? Philip? Oh, no, no, that's out of the question. Oh, he's a real smart lad, Mr. Baring. Understands these shanties, talks to them. Like they was his own brothers. He, he, he'd make himself useful. Mm. Oh, maybe you're right. Yes, take Philip with you. Going in the right direction, lad? Oh, yes. I know most all of this part of the jungle. <laughs> Is that so? Yes, Utasi and I used to hunt up here along this trail. Oh, it looks like awful wild country around <laughs> here. <laughs> oh, it's not so wild when you get used to it. Ashanti's can pick a path through here, even on the darkest night. Huh, that's something else they don't like about them natives. Never know when they're going to sneak up on you some night. Can't trust a one of them. Oh, you can trust most of them, Mike, if you understand them. Uh, what do you mean, lad? Well, they have strange tribal customs and ceremonies. Their religion's jammed full of fetishes about not cutting certain trees or not crossing certain rivers and things like that. But you have to learn to accept their fetishes and witchcraft, even if you don't believe them. Well, who says what's a fetish and what ain't? Well, the witch doctors, mostly. Oh, not the drums. Yeah. Must be getting near the village. Say, who plays them drums? The witch doctors. They're probably announcing our arrival right now. Come on. Uh, 
Well, here we are, Mike. Uh, the first time I've ever seen a native village. Careful now. Sakabuna, Samaripa Sakabuna. Yere Kierewo, Jomumu Teteka. We're friends. Come to see Great Chief Jamumu. Come on, Mike. Sure. He says Jamumu is expecting us. Yeah, this must be the chief's hut. Yeah. Ato Ato Jamumu Ubi Hua. Yeah, this is it, all right. Oh, say, lad, what a layout. Hey, look. Look at those skulls. Oh, yeah. Hope mine never gets up there. Oh, Jamumu, great chief of Ashanti. Otana Nua. We bring peace. You can do, you can do, can do, can do, can do. My father, who builds railroads, sends his greeting. Hola nua o, Jomomo. Why you come here? No kotoko monka. To talk of peace. Peace? The railroad, great Jomomo, must be built. All the way to a punt with. But the Shanty people want no railroad. Bring only trouble. Sickness. Sickness? You will see. All the Shanty people sick. And much trouble. Get the over hoi no What do you say, lad? It's a proverb. When the snake is stirred, it bites. Jamumu means if we continue to build the railroad, he means to stop us somehow. But he can't. Wait a minute. Great Jamumu, no kotoko monka and toa. We want only peace. We want to help Ashanti. Wotase ne kwa. The railroad gives much work to your people. Many work for my father. This I know, and my people give much help. And now, great Jamumu, we need your help. Eh? Eh, eh, How can I help great white man Nim Baring, eh? He is not great without your help. He bows to you who are truly great, Jamumu. Eh, eh, eh. He do this? Yes, great Jamumu. Eh, eh, eh. You speak. How can Jamumu help white man burying? He asks you to remove taboo, guno, from trees near river where we work. He asks that you send witch doctor with his drums to our railroad camp to remove the taboo. Uh. If curse of Ashanti gods is taken from trees by witch doctor, we can cut trees and build our railroad. Uh, yes, I help you if you help me. What do you mean, Great Jamomo? I send witch doctor and Tumpani drum to railroad camp and take away Isanusi from trees. But witch doctor and drums must stay at camp uh, uh, to protect you from evil spirit. Uh, uh, I want witch doctor and drums at railroad camp. Say, that sounds pretty good, lad. That's the trouble, Mike. Sounds too good. Makes me suspicious. Better take him up on the offer, lad. Well, I, I don't know. We've got to get that railroad through to a point way. Oh, great Chief Jamumu. Yes, you have decided. Your offer very kind, oh, great Jamumu. For my father and his workmen, I accept. Oh, that's in the quiet. That's in the quiet. It is well. Atimai. Oh, can I, Atimai? Amo, amo, Jamumu. Can I? Titikasene. That's our great Jamumu. Atimai. Take Mpumpani drum. Go live. In the white man village. Asa, Jumumu. Take Gunu, Isanusi, from trees. Asa, I will do. And then stay with white men, Achimai. Stay? <laughs> Keep evil spirit from the road camp. Good deal, but in so Beku. Help build the road. <laughs> you, you understand? I understand, great Jumumu. I take drums and go. I understand, Great <laughs> Mumu. I understand. <laughs> and everything seems to be all right, Mr. Baring. The fetish is gone, the trees are down, and the blacks are working again. That's right, sir. Well, you two certainly got results, but somehow it. It's incredible that Jamumu would send his witch doctor here. He's going to stay here, Father, with his drum. Yeah, it's almost too good to be true. It doesn't seem possible that old Jamumu suddenly turned friendly. Well, you can thank young Philip here for putting it across, sir. He sure made friends with that old chief. Oh, well, I'll have to be getting along. I'll see you later. Okay, Mike. I just can't understand it, Philip. 
What's that, sir? Why Jamumu wants one of his witch doctors here at our camp. Well, Jamumu said Achimai would keep away evil spirits so we could build the railroad. Yeah, but the drums. Well, so that Achimai can communicate with Jamumu. Well, somehow I've got a feeling those drums are going to bring trouble. But, of course, I may be wrong. Let's go have a look at them, Philip. Let's see those talking drums. the talking drums, huh? Yes, sir. Uh, there's a large one for the deep, low tones and a small drum for the high tones. By pounding on them with those heavy sticks, the witch doctor sends out his message in some sort of a chanty code. Yeah. You, you, Achimai. Asu, me, Achimai, Asu. You speak English? Dumb, I understand. Titika, Asu. Tell me, other drums in jungle like these? Ooh, kanu, natua. Always two drum. They're made out of wood, a tree trunk, and painted over with those weird designs. Certainly are interesting, aren't they? Ah, no, like good, to... good, uh, White man, look. No touch him to funny drum. Uh, don't worry, we won't touch him. Go on back to your drumming. These drums are very sacred to the Ashantis. Only the witch doctors are allowed to touch them. That's why I'm surprised and suspicious. That you know we sent them right into our camp. You know, I think this Archie Mai will stand watching. Sassy? Sassy, come here. Yes, my spirit. Yes. Those drums, the talking drums. Do you understand them? Well, uh, uh, yes. And what are they saying? What's Archie Mai drumming on? Uh, I cannot tell you that. I cannot tell. Any luck, Philip? Trying to understand those drums? No, sir. But I haven't given up yet. What about the men, sir? The natives on the road gang? Not so good. Thirty more out today. Thirty? They all claim they're sick. Too sick to work. I wonder what they're up to. I don't know. I wonder... That has anything to do with Achimai and the drums. It's very possible, but there's no way we can tell. Unless we could understand the language of the drum. But you tried, Philip. Yeah. But I'm going to have another talk with Itachi tonight. Maybe. Maybe he'll tell me the secret of the talking drum. Tassi, I want you to help me. Help? Of course I help you. I do that. I want you to tell me about those uh, shanty drums, Tassi. I want to know the secret of the talking drums. The, the yes, I want you to tell me how to understand them when they speak. Oh, no, 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 no. But, Philip, I cannot tell you about Ntumpani. But you must tell me, Tassi. If I talk about sacred drums to white men, they will kill me. Who? Who will? Men of Great Jumumu, witch doctors, Achimai. But, well, I, I won't tell them. They'll never know. No, no. I cannot tell white men. Well, you're right, Itachi. You can't tell white men about the drums. But you could tell me. Eh? But you are a white man. Well, in some ways I am, but some ways I'm not. I not understand, but Philip. What do you mean? Well, my skin's lighter than yours, that's true enough, but I'm not like most white men. I understand the shanties because I've lived here almost all my life. Yes. I speak your language. I know your customs, your religion, your gods of the jungle. Yes, that is so. Utasi, if you told me how to understand the drums, I'm sure the spirit of Ntumpani would not be angry. Because I've lived with the Ashanti so long, I'm, I'm almost one myself. Well, I... I could tell you, and the spirit of Ntumpani not be angry. But about Achimai and Jumumu... If you tell me about the drums, Atasi, I give you my word that Jamumu or the witch doctor will never know. It'll be a secret between you and me and the great spirit of Ntumpani. All right. All right, I tell you, boss Philip. I teach you. Thank you, Atasi. How soon can we start? Now, tonight. All right. And uh, how long will it take for me to learn? One, two nights, not long, but we must hurry. All right, Atasi. Tell me everything that I must know. To understand the talking drums. Now, 
Now you listen, Basile. All right. Remember, the drums speak only words, a shanty word. I don't like it, Mr. Baring. I don't like it. How many new men sick today? Fifteen, but they ain't really sick. It's going to be trouble. Now, you almost done finished. You remember what I tell him. I won't forget it, Tassie. If you remember that they talk, it is not hard to understand Tumpani drum. Now, you listen, Basile. All right. Atimai send message to Dumumu. Chief. You hear? Yes. Tell me what he say. All right. This message for our great Dumumu, chief of all Ashanti. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, many men? Oh, yes, many men sick here at the white man's camp. <laughs> he's right, he's right. Boss man, chief, worry. We need our men to, to work on... On that mean railroad. Oh, oh yes. All our men make to seem sick. But when time comes and you give the signal, yes, yes, yes. these men rise up to fight. All Ashanti will join to kill white man, drive railroad from our land. We fight soon. Right. Well, then we haven't a minute to lose. We'll be soon much fighting. And that's why Jamumu wanted that witch doctor here with his drums. So Achimai could excite our workmen and make them revolt. You don't tell Achimai that I helped you. No, Tassi. No, he'll never know. But right now, I'm going to tell my father about it. That's the whole story. The reason Achimai is here and the reason the natives refuse to work. Yeah, we haven't much time. The Ashantis are mobilized for battle. There's no telling when they may strike. And every one of our workmen will join him when the fight starts. Yes. Why, there'll only be three of us against at least a thousand of them. Yeah, it certainly won't be a long fight. We might as well organize ourselves the best we can. Mr. Barry, Mr. Barry. Uh, yes, Mike? Our, our rifles, most of our guns are gone. What? Must have been stole out of the storehouse last night. And something's wrong with the car. She's busted, won't run. And it looks like old Jamumu's outsmarted us at every turn. What do you mean? The Ashanti tribes are planning to attack and kill us. Maybe tonight. Attack us? Wait. Listen. Huh? Phillips learned the secret of the drum. He has. I'm afraid it's too late to help us now. Well, uh, well what are we going to do, Mr. Barrett? I don't know. I don't know. Well, I've got it. What did they say, Phillips, the drum? It was Achimai relaying a message to Jamumu in the jungle. It just said, hold yourselves in readiness. The time has almost come. Tonight we strike. Yeah, there's only one thing we can do. What's that? Leave everything. Get out of here fast as we can. Head for the coast. And lose the railroad? What else can we do, Philip? I don't like to just give up, but we can't hold off all those natives. Well, I, I'm from pulling out of here myself, but isn't there something we can do? I only wish there were, Philip. But to stop this rebellion, we'd have to exert a stronger power over the natives than old Jamumu himself. Uh, it's hopeless. A stronger power than Jamumu? Huh? Hey, I've got an idea. What is it, son? Those talking drums. They're sacred to the natives. Why, the shanties believe anything they hear on those drums. Well, I don't see how... And if I could send a message on those drums and tell them to stop fighting... You? Yes. I know the secret of Entempani. I, I could pound out a message, I think, and say it was the voice of the spirit of Entempani. Even if they didn't believe the message, perhaps it would, would confuse oh, them. I don't know, Philip. Hey, listen to them natives. They must be on in all right, the workmen. That must mean they're about ready to... Yeah, well, they won't be long, no. Let's get out of this jungle. Drums. It's a signal. Hachimai, he's drumming the signal. The attack? Yes. Hey, let's get out of here. They'll kill us. Oh, where can we go? Oh, we can't wait here in the tent. The drums. The drums, Father. You must let me try to stop them with a talking drum. But they're all the way across the clearing. He'll be shot down. It's dark. I can run. It's worth a chance. All right, son, but I'll go with you. You may need help. Thanks, Father. Let's go. Careful now. All right, son. There's Achimai. Yes. See him in the darkness? You go ahead, Philip. Get at those drums. I'll take care of him. Let's go. Let's go. White man, go away. Oh, no, we won't, you cheap faker. I call her Shanti. They kill you. Out of the way, you phony witch doctor. Let me at those drums. 
Good thing they can't see us in the dark. Huh? Here goes. Good luck, Bill. My shanties. Stop. Stop. Listen to me, a shanty. I am great god of the Intempani drum. I order you, Ashanti, do not fight the white men. Do not fight them. They are your friends. It's working, Philip. It's working. They're going back. There must be peace. Always peace. In the Ashanti country, the railroad will bring this peace. Make friends with the white man. Go back to your work. I command you. The great god of the talking drum has spoken to his people. Formally opening this new link in the railroad between Ipuntwe and Kamase, I would like to pay tribute to the man responsible for its construction, Mr. H. S. Baring. <laughs> and to young Philip Baring for his service in averting bloodshed, furthering the cause of peace on the Gold Coast, and aiding materially in the completion of this railroad. I am directed to extend to you the thanks of the government and to confer upon you a scholarship of 1,000 pounds to be used anywhere you choose to further your study of music. Thank you, Commissioner. Well, sir. That's quite a surprise getting all that money, eh, Philip? Yes, Commissioner. It's the least we can do to show our appreciation. Oh, I'm afraid most of the credit goes to Otasi here. Thank you, Bus Philip. I never would have learned the secret of the drums if it hadn't been for Otasi. Well, we tried to give the native boy something for his work, eh, Barry? Uh, that's right, Commissioner. I no want money when I help you, Bus Philip. You, my friend. <laughs> like you say, you almost a shanty. <laughs> yes, I know, Otasi. Well, Philip? Yes, Father. How soon do you think you'll leave to go back to the States for your music scholarship? I'm not going back, Father. Huh? What did you say? I said I'm not going back. I want to stay here on the Gold Coast. But why? Well, as far as my scholarship goes, I think there's a great field for musical research in the Ashanti talking drums. And besides, this is my adopted country. I want to stay here with you and the railroad and Utasi. This is the land here on the Gold Coast where I belong. The land of the talking drums. Adventure Ahead has presented the story Talking Drums by Waldo Fleming in a radio dramatization written by Tom Gute. In today's play, the part of Philip Baring was played by Jack Manning. Others in the cast were Juan O. Hernandez, Ken Renard, Jim Tanzi, Nicholas Joy, and Bernard Lenro. The music was composed by Leo Kampinski, and the orchestra was directed by Henri Nosco. The entire production was under the direction of Joseph Mansfield. <laughs> NBC and its affiliated independent stations present Adventure Ahead as a public service. This is the National Broadcasting Company.